Hello and welcome to Home Cooking Spain. Today's lunch I'm going to be cooking stewed homemade meatballs. So let's begin. Right, so I've got my large frying pan here. I've got some olive oil here, about three or four tablespoons. Um, I fried some chorizo in it, hence the colour. And I'm going to be using this. I won't be adding any more, that's enough. So, I'll turn on the stove, turn it up to number 7, and while we wait for this to heat up, I'll show you what I've got to cook with. I'm going to be eating these with some rice, I've got a bay leaf there to give it a nice flavour. I've got my homemade meatballs here, I'll leave a link below the description if you're interested in knowing how I make them. I've got three cloves of chopped garlic, one small onion chopped also and about five, four or five carrots which I've sliced up. I'm going to be using some yellow food colorant, some smoked paprika, a bit of fried tomato sauce, salt, some bay leaves, a glass of peas, frozen peas, which they're half unfrozen, a generous glass of white wine, and some chicken stock. Um, I'll probably use about half a litre. Well, we'll know better later. Right, so let's wait for this to, to heat him up, shall we? By the way, I've never made this recipe before, but if you're watching this, it means that it turned out good. Right, this looks hot, sort of hot. Doesn't matter if it's not sizzling away. So what I'll do is brown all these meatballs all over. I've got nine here. Five for me, four for my wife. And I'm just going to add a little bit of um, salt to them. Because when I made them this time, I forgot to add salt. I think. Can't remember too well. But hey, it doesn't matter. If you added salt to them when you made them, you know, with all the herbs and spices, well, you don't need to add any salt now. And probably this stock, chicken stock, will probably have salt itself. This is made with um, obviously chicken and yeah it has got salt and it's got quite a few. It's got um, leeks, carrots, potatoes and I don't know what that is. Apio. And apio is, I think it's, no nah, it's not that, because they're leeks. Well I don't know what they are, it doesn't matter. And it's got olive oil also, and some species. I've had this before and it's quite good. Okay, so these will be browning them all round. So let's do it. Right, so once these meatballs are browned all over, um, I've got another pot here, which is where they're going to boil, so I'll just get them out of this frying pan and put them on the, inside this pot, for now. And in this same oil, I'm going to fry the onion as the garlic. I just browned it all over nicely here. Yeah? And in this pot I'll add the carrots. I'll just put it here on to one side.
Okay, once these onions are done, I'll just take them out from the stove top, put them on one side. And now the meatballs with the carrots, I like a teaspoon of sweet paprika, smoked paprika. Um, I'm going to add a little bit of this yellow food colorant to give it a nice color. It's about half a teaspoon. You don't need that much. I'm going to chuck in um, a couple of bay leaves. But just one bay leaf or two. Two little bay leaves. Um, ba -ba -bum. And the glass of white wine. And this, we're going to leave it there so the until the wine evaporates. Evaporates. So about five minutes, roughly. By the way, don't forget to leave a comment below and let me know what would you eat these with. Would you eat them with rice, like I am, with pasta, boiled potatoes, or fried potatoes? That's chips. Comment below. Right, this, um, the alcohol here, look at that, beautiful, aren't they? The alcohol is nearly evaporated. So what I'm going to do is add these onion and garlic, olive oil included, because olive oil is good for you. And also, it's got that chorizo taste. Right, so that's there. And you will know well, once the alcohol is evaporated, that when you, you sniff it, it doesn't knock you out. So this is evaporated. Now I'm going to put in a nice generous tablespoon of fried tomato sauce also. Let's just move that about. And um, I'll also add in the peas. It's a big lump there. They're frozen, you know, half frozen. Right, this I'm going to whack it right up now. Because when I pour this chicken stock, I want it to stop boiling quickly, you know. And then I'll tear it down a bit. So basically, I didn't use half a litre. I've used about... about 300 cl. So about a third, roughly. So... just enough so that it will cover... it will cover the... the meatballs. So let's wait for this to start bubbling. Right, so this is starting to boil. So what I will do is turn it down to medium high, number seven. And that should be, I mean, I will leave that there to boil or medium high for 20 minutes. <clears throat> and while that's boiling, I'll turn the, the rice on as well, and that will be there for 20 minutes roughly. So 5 minutes for it to, to heat up the water, and then 15 minutes to cook. So hopefully it should all be ready at the same time. So the rice, I've got it on full whack until it bubbles, and then I'll turn it back down to 7, the same as this. So I'll see you back, oh wait a minute. I better do a salt check on this.
Perfect. It doesn't need any salt. So, I'll see you in 20 minutes, okay? Right. So, after about 20 minutes, the rice is ready and the meatballs are ready. So now, let's serve them up. Right. So here's today's lunch sorted. I hope that you enjoyed today's recipe video and thank you for watching and see you soon. Cheers!